This is your daily market review for Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to success. This is Dan Max at XP Realty, aka The Trading Agent, and this is your daily market review for Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. Hopefully you're doing well. As we talked about, the market was in the most overbought conditions I have ever seen. And look at them, apples. Talked about taking shorts, closing longs, rolling up stops, whatever you need to do to become less long in anticipation of something coming. Well, I don't know what the actual reason why other than maybe the Apple downgrade, but does it really matter at this point? This is the thing. Risk comes quickly. The hardest thing about trading, investing is timing. But as we talked about, you try to get at levels you look at extremes, you look at the market through the lens of potentialities and probabilities to put them in your favor, knowing that you can be wrong, but when the probabilities are stronger in your favor, better risk reward, don't be scared, take it out. All right, if you're new to the channel, check out the Discord room, link in the description below. Appreciate the love, support. Donations, you guys are amazing. Also too, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Surprised that again, I find out that most of the people who've watched this channel are not subscribed. I don't know why you wouldn't. Again, we do live chats like we did today in the midst of the fire, point out trades, and I think rather useful for a lot of folks. Again, check out the tradingagent.com. There's your back to basic series. Get your real estate, your daily reviews. Get your 5.5. Get that promotion code again, 5.5%. Mm, that is tasty. And also make sure you get a chance to check out all the articles, all the information. Get your 2024 Stock Traders Almanac. And please do not be surprised when a brokerage goes out of business. <clears throat> Schwab. All right. As we talked about the market being this, posted a lot of things, posted a lot of trades, posted the XLF literally at the high. But we'll see. It's at right now, but is it going to break out or is it going to fake out? Well, we'll talk about that. And again, there's a lot of things going on behind the scene. Just let me know how I can help. Use the Cali link below. Appreciate all the love and support. So we talked about March is basically a cut as anticipated. Why is the market anticipating more and more cuts this year if everything is fine? Keep it on it. Bitcoin hits the channel high. Failure. Again, again, I this feels very trappish. We shall see. Decent volume. The wick is coming down. If this is a failure, I mean, again, I've told people, don't expect, don't be surprised by a 20, 25% drop, takes you down into this, I don't know, 30,000 to 34,000 range. I know it's a wide range, but just, let me just open it up. Maybe 32, 33. I, again, I, I don't like to bring a ruler to trading. Just look for dips, look for the areas, look for the volume to come in. Oils, we talked about, huge short interest down here, popping. Can the short interest stay high? Yeah, I just tell it to me. It just makes it feel like the levels are going to be higher. You're not getting that negative, like spot futures price. Natural gas, as we talked about. I don't think there's much downside to this, but pick and choose your avenue for shorting, or sorry, going long natural gas. Like I said, I recommended shorting KOLD. I don't know where it's at. Ninety one. If you got it in the one ten plus, you're feeling pretty good. Right? I hope so. Dollars, we talked about if you took a dollar seventy four X div, added it to this price, it essentially takes you to the two hundred day and look at this. We're bouncing. Even on big X div. At support. TLT, we talked about the ninety nine hundred area being resistance. We talked about this being a bottom somewhere, how much bought not how bought it would get, oversold after coming from, you know, chop chop and then extremely oversold again rates it's like stocks right people find value at dips and then you know they trade it well here you go watch this 9900 vix as we talked about a gift from the gods when it was below the 20 day now it's rallying back chopping around i don't care chop is good vixen this is where it's get interesting right tech vix vivix all the product products are showing you a bottom of holding ranges so be on red alert spy Held up better, obviously, than the Q Qs. Interesting day, right? A lot of volume at the close. But again, I'm not surprised that people tried to like like squeeze out you know, the best buy of the day at the close because of new money, new month. Yeah, see if it holds. I mean, now you're below the eight day. We'll see. Qs, right? Absolute bloodbath today. 
wipes out, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 days, holding the 20-day. If it breaks the 20-day, watch out. Again, we expect this to go lower. IWM, we talked about trapping up here. Okay, interesting day. Doji, does this area, I mean, does it fail today, tomorrow, next week? I don't know. I'd watch this area. Dia holding up because of financial. Same thing with IWM, some of the material names. Keep an eye on it. I mean, when you zoom out, I don't know why I don't have it. Um, you know you're at a new high. Sorry, I don't have like the, the high. Basically, it's the 20-day. Let me just draw it across real quick. I apologize. It's got to hold over 370, essentially. If it does, it's good. If it's not, it's probably crashing. Not crashing, but pulling back. Sorry. Gold, again, everyone getting bullish. I don't trust this stuff until the feds officially pivot because they could raise interest rates. And I know we we know they won't, but the, the, the talk of inflation, all this crap, again, it's just easier because gold, well, you know, silver and the miners are not confirming it. Silver's been absolute dog poo. Excuse my language. I mean, can I say that? Yeah. You would think this thing would be up at minimum 24. It should be near 30, right? GDX, we talk about miners. I said on the daily chat I'm, or the live chat, I'm like, man, I should have shorted the open at the eight day. Miners get slapped around. Again, when credit issues come, I mean, who's got the biggest cash issues and needs potentially? Some of these miners, they're just selling commodities. Well, again, if the market locks up, they're screwed. AEG watching, A I mean, they all look the same. Chopping or AEM looks a little better, but when you zoom out, they just all look like big chop ranges, right? They should be much higher. Newmont, I mean, this thing hits the 200-day and it's been lagging real hard. Okay, Bang. pass another just choppy mess. Taiwan Semi. Added the short today at like 102, 101, 70. I, I can't remember. I was like, oh my God, did anyone see Jing Pi Pao? I can't, <laughs> Xing Pao, <laughs> Chinese Pao. No, uh, Premier, what do you call the, whoever's in charge of China. I apologize, I'm butchering this badly. Basically said they're going to reunite with Taiwan. You know what that says to me? Taiwan semis going south. That's why Buffett sold last year. I think it was second quarter. Okay. 20 days. The key. Micron, look at these chip names. We talked about tech being the most overbought I've ever... I mean, it makes zero sense. Again, a company like this with a 1% return on... It's revenue or return on... Well, again, all of a sudden my brand has been a long day. Return on investment. Basically, no margins. Look at it. AMD. I mean, this is bonkers. I mean, this, we talked about this one just rising, rising, rising. Broke the eight day. Is this a professional gap down? Because you're going to see a lot of these like professional gap downs in tech. NVIDIA holding on. Intel. I'm impressed that it got this high, but then when to with the money that they got from, uh, I mean, I don't think they got the money yet, but they got um, Israel to pony up a subsidy. Keep an eye on that. Because this could be a rollover little dogie and all these names. SMH, same thing. Watch a 20-day professional gap. Adobe's, we talked about this one lagging, bounced after earnings, 20-day. Gosh, it's holding on to a thread. Apple, you're welcome if you shorted this, double top. Sometimes you get lucky with big downgrades. That is a big damn gap. And Amazon, everybody's like, oh, it's breaking out. I'm like, it could be a trap. Whew, very close. CRM, again, riding the lightning, as I call it, riding the upper channel bound. 20 day, keep an eye on it. Goog, fake out, breakout, right? Makes a new high over 142, gives it back. Meta, we said this thing was due at some point, roll over. Holding the 20 day, this little trend line. I mean, Zucker's selling as fast as he can. I'm selling too. Microsoft, we talked about this thing being stuck. Watch the 20 day. NDAQ, makes zero sense what why it was rising. That's the market, it just followed it, and then look where it fails. Okay. Support equals resistance. MicroStrategy, I mean, this is up with Bitcoin, but that candle is not pretty, y'all. Again, is this a bull trap or is it about to break out? This is one that'd be, a, it's hard to go against the market. If you think the market's going down and Bitcoin's going higher, MicroStrategy's going higher. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, this is where I'd be like scared, not scared, but holding overnight, I have no clue what Bitcoin's going to do because MicroStrategy can tr move 50 points at a time. Netflix, we talked about this being a trap up here so far. So good. Look at the volume expanding. Roblox. Again, I said I like this in the teens. We talked about it rallying. Look where it's rejecting. 20 day. Uh oh. Tesla. Again, the more cars they produce, the lower the stock goes. 
Interesting how that works. No, they have to grow into the multiple that was was this monstrosity, and now it's just a choppy, choppy mess. I wouldn't buy the stock, but every day, oh, what do you think? I'm like, I just leave it alone. Airbnb short, easy like Sunday morning. Hits and fails. Costco, we talked about X Div. It would probably hold up. There it is, that X Div, and then now it's starting to slip. They got their fifteen dollars of record. Starbucks, we talked about being. The absolute global growth. I mean, I guess it's not the absolute, but it's one of those global growth names. Because again, people who are buying coffee, they have stores literally everywhere in the world. What's going on with the stock? FedEx, we talked about. This is one like that, you know, does it really, you know, earnings, it ran up because everyone's excited. And then it gapped. And we talked about any like couple day bounce. I mean, three day rule, four day, whatever you want to call it. We said, watch this 253 area. And then the 100 day. I mean, close enough. Caterpillar, I mean, that's the thing. You can't bring a ruler in trading. Because again, if the ruler worked, oh man, if I got 302, I'm shorting it. Now it's, I may have missed it. Probably not. Watching the eight day. I mean, this is one of those ones that you could add at any point. New core. Talk about if you're going to short materials, like short up against rest, you know, spots. US Steel, again, I don't think they're going to get bought out. But I also don't know like what the downside is because I think there's multiple offers. So be careful shorting this one. I don't know why people keep bringing it up. But I don't know. Just be careful. Valet. Chopping. I mean, this name, if you zoom out, this has gone nowhere. And everyone loves Brazilian equities. Everyone's loving, loving, you know, non USA equity. I mean, what do you call it? Emerging markets. Sorry, like my brain is just tired. It's like, okay, arrow, chop, chop. Talked about it bouncing off the trend nicely. Talked about it testing up here, watching it. Looks like it might reject. CCJ, this has been the monster of 2023. Not a monster. I guess NVIDIA would be the monster. Again, NVIDIA got named the stock of the year for 2024. And it's like, guys, you don't name the stock of 2023 the year, the stock of 2024. What are the odds it's going to be the best performing stock back to back years? Zero. Fucking idiot. Excuse me. Idiot. CCJ, we talked about it. Maybe an M top once it broke below the 20 day. Uh oh. CF. Hey, somebody likes ag. We like ag long term. I really hope it gets smoked out. Because, again, I want to buy this when they throw the baby out the bathwater. Mosaic, NTR, all my favorite ag names. you got to eat. Let them chop around. AA, same kind of thing. Love aluminum long term. Let it chop around. Financials, look at this crap. The biggest risk. Good old Epstein Island, all those fun things. Watch this area. I mean, I'm putting on shorts up here. JP Mo hits our trend line alarm going off. ding a ling a ling a ling a ling just watch it. Define your risk. Have a stop. You can be wrong. Define your risk. Morgan Stoneley. Watch this. Again, zones. Bank of America. Watch the zones. I mean, you got references. And again, don't be surprised they trap too. That's why you got to save some capital. Goldman Snacks. Keep an eye on this stuff. KRE hold, held up. 53 area. Okay. No doubt fail zone. Just a matter of when. XBI. Again, these, these names have been crushed. And look where it held. Again, 92s. Big, choppy, sloppy range, in my opinion. Again, they like lower rates. If rates are going back up again or chopping around, who knows? Solar. Again, we talked about looking for the pop. And, ooh, look at that. Not so hot. Sedge. I mean, these names were up earlier all day, and it's like, turn around. Ooh. ooh. ENPH. Mm -mm. I mean, I'd really like the 200-day. And for solar, like, look at this we got to. Look at this wick, man. This is the thing about first solar. It does that. It traps. If you wait for the traps, you get the cash. HYG, I said this for weeks. I'm like, who is dumb enough to buy corporate debt? Somebody. Somebody. Good luck with that. Oil, pretty wide and loose day today. Look at this. Up, down. Ooh, ooh. UNG, again, I don't think there's much downside to natural gas, but if you really want to play it, we've talked about shorting KOLD. That was the easy trade because it decays. I just wait for a pop, hopefully, if you get it. XOP. Again, got stopped out of this last week and using funds elsewhere, but man, I mean, it's very, you got like a little island floating reversal there. You got the, you know, two island being two gaps, the gap up and the gap down. So far, it looks like it's heading south, but we'll see. I mean, this stuff could chop. ExxonMobil, same thing. This stuff has been oversold. CVE, friends like this one. I mean, again, I, I just don't trust near term. Valero. Same thing, chopping up against a referencia, MPC. 
again, oil and gas are up today. Chopping, back testing, trend line. I mean, these are sometimes hard. Is and again, this is where I personally got stopped out. I'm like, oh, I'm just watching them. Oxy, I mean, this is a big, 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 big chop range. The Buffett free ride here, basically. Uh, EQT, we've talked about this failing at 44. And Flex LNG again. This thing has an 8% dividend yield. I like it long term. I just want to get some extremes. I want someone just to puke it up. So again, if you have any questions, please reach out. Always here to help. I appreciate you guys. All the love and support. Do yourself a favor. Use the Calendly link. Even if you just want to hang out and talk, hit me up. I'm always available if I am available. People know who I am. And if I can, I'll help. Talk to you later. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, the PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.